everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel Storytime with Zara. Today I chose you a funny book to read. Norman the Slug with a Silly Shell by Sue Hendra. Colourful page. What a beautiful scene. <laughs> All the snakes came out. Norman the slug thought snails were great. Wow, said Norman. Look at them. They're amazing. Do you think they're amazing? I think they are. But unfortunately, the snails didn't think Norman was great. Whee! Crash! you silly slug they cried you've spoiled our fun this only works if you've got a shell if only I had a shell of my own he sighed looking at his reflection and that's when he had an idea maybe I could have a shell after all he thought, hmm, what's Norman's plan? But finding a shell was not as easy as it seemed. One was too bouncy. Boing, 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 boing. One was too noisy. Da -ding, da -ding, da -ding, da -ding, da -ding. And one was already taken. They're talking to you, see? The worm and the slug. Norman needed time to think. Ta-da! A shell! It was perfect. Norman had never been happier. He could join the snails at last. Norman loved being a snail. And the snails loved Norman's shell. But the fun didn't last for long. Suddenly, there was a loud flapping of wings. <laughs> Look out! Bird! cried the snails in panic. Quick! Slither for your lives! Or we'll end up a supper! <laughs> but the bird was more interested in Norman's silly shell. It looked Delicious! Norman was being carried up, up and away. Higher and higher into the sky. What could he do? Looks like Norman's in trouble. Uh-oh. Norman did the only thing a slug could do. He made slime. Lots and lots of it. With a slither and a slither. A slip and a slide. Norman was free. But he was falling. Faster and faster. Until plunk. Norman, Norman, are you okay? Asked the snails. Wow, said Norman. That was great. I love flying. If only I had wings. What's going? What's Norman? What's Norman what's going to do? Ta-da! I think he used the pants on this page to fly in the air. Now he's become a from a slug, sad lonely slug, to a happy friendly snail, to a... I don't know how to describe him. Maybe you can use some words to describe Norman. To a bird though. A bird with... with... 
with their feathers made of knickers. <laughs> That's the end of this book. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope you listen to more stories read by me. Bye!